Welcome to an Empower PL video tutorial. We've now created a form, we've sent it out, and it's time to look at some results. As the results start to come in, if you're in the edit format of Google Forms, you'll notice that up at the top, you'll see where it says responses, and you'll have a little number around uh, or inside of a, a gray, dark gray little circle. Um, this tells you how many people have responded so far. So as those results start to come in, you're gonna see that across different forms. For example, uh, here I've got a couple um, where you can see a different number there. So five people have responded to this one and uh, six people so far to this one. So as they start to come in, this number obviously is gonna change based on the number of people that have responded. We can click on this. This is an actual clickable tab. So let's click on responses. And it's gonna show you a quick view of those people that have responded and their and their response choices will pop up here. So this is nice glance when you have a few, but once you start getting a lot of responses, this actually becomes a little tough, especially with questions that are open-ended like short answer or uh, long answer choices. So there's gonna be a little harder. Now the ones with charts are really nice because when people are voting for things, for example, it's like a nice little poll or uh, you have some, uh, uh, multiple choice uh, or checkbox options. These are quite nice because it it basically summarizes for you in a visual way. And so this is a nice view to be able to see the results. However, for a full full view of everything, my recommendation is to take a look at this spreadsheet. Now, if you haven't created the spreadsheet yet, if you've just created your form, people just started responding, you've not created a spreadsheet that's linked to this particular form, you do have to take that extra step at this point to create it. So first time around, we have to click on this icon to create our spreadsheet. So little icon right there in green up at the top right where you see me hovering there, we're gonna click on that icon so that we can generate a brand new spreadsheet. Now, if you have a spreadsheet that you already created previously, but that's not necessarily linked to this form, you could certainly select a spreadsheet that you've already created so that it it brings in that data into that spreadsheet. Now we're gonna do a create a new spreadsheet because we wanna do a brand new one that is linked to this form and this form only. So we, we click on the button that says create and it'll generate a spreadsheet for you. It'll open up a new tab and it'll uh, basically give you this spreadsheet with any results that have already come in at that moment. Now, as the results continue to come in, this spreadsheet will continue to populate with more and more results. So right now you only see the one um, that I've went in and did as a test. Uh, but again, as more and more results, you'll see uh, it populated on here. Now I wanna point out really quick, I really like that it automatically collects a timestamp. So it shows you what date and time that person submitted that particular form. This is great, especially if you have a deadline for things, you actually have the information as to when people submitted, or if, for example, you need to be able to look back at something and someone said, well, I submitted twice, you can see the timestamp to see which is the most recent one as well. Now, as the results populate, you'll notice that they will populate uh, from the top down. So your most newer um, results would be down at the bottom, not necessarily at the top. So the, the one at the top is the very first person that submitted and then they start to populate below that. Of course, you can then filter to where these results filter in a different way. Um, so you can obviously go back in and make uh, changes to that. But once it's in, in a Google Spreadsheet, now you can actually do a lot of other things. Like for example, we're gonna come up here to the top menu that you see up here of our Google Sheet. And you're gonna notice that one of your options is for form. From here, you can go to the live form if you wanna preview the form. You can get the embed code. You can also show summary of responses. Now you saw earlier that I showed you uh, a few of those uh, charts already in this view here. Well, that's the same thing that we're gonna actually get from here. So from this spreadsheet, we're going to form and we're gonna say show summary of responses and it's gonna pull up this nice sort of um, uh, look to, um, oh, it took me, there we go. All right, so it goes back into the form and once again, Anytime you do multiple choice and check boxes, it's gonna give this this nice visual graphical element to be able to see those results. And these are all showing up in real time, meaning that as your students, um, your educators continue to populate that form, those get adjusted automatically. So that's quite nice. 
And then lastly, what you see here is unlink form. Now what this is gonna do, and uh, here you see the little uh, pop-up window, um, what it'll do is it won't, um, it won't, it'll stop uh, accepting your results. Um, so if somebody already has the form open and they're filling it out and you click that button, it'll stop accepting those uh, results from, from the responses onto your sheet. Um, however, having said that, let's say you decide you only want people to complete this up until, you know, this afternoon and then no longer after that. What it does is it breaks the link so that when people click on the link, it doesn't actually take them to the form. So it's actually a nice feature. Uh, when you don't want people to fill out that form anymore, you don't want it to be available and out in the wild for people uh, to see that that content. So that's quite nice because perhaps you've already given them the link, but now it's a broken link, so it doesn't work. So those were a couple of extra little things that I wanted to share with you that help you be able to uh, better manage the data, the information that's coming through from uh, your form in both the responses tab within Google Forms, or of course, if you've generated a spreadsheet, to be able to then take a look at uh, the spreadsheet. And then from here, be able to, of course, customize and do all kinds of cool stuff that you can do with Google Sheets. Hope this was helpful.